What's up guys, welcome to the 10th session of the first cell football course of Persian ball and if you have done the previous movement very well you can make a lot of fabulous combinations so stay tuned with me until the end of this video that I want to tell you some important tips Preparation for this movement is just juggling. If you don't know how to juggle for professional fear style or you cannot juggle at all, you can watch the first tutorial of this course that I have taught the juggling movement very carefully and with the greatest style. So first of all, watch the first video and then you can learn the movements and combinations. First of all, the ball must be in this area. So that is an important movement. If the ball is lower or higher than this area, the movement is not clean at all. This movement is wrong because there is a massive distance between the ball and back of my head and it's not clean. The nearer the better. The nearer the ball is to the back of your head, the more the movement is clean. So try to throw the ball to the ground. When it comes up, it must be in your eyes level and then and you can cross your head under the ball. So you train it 10 times and clean. In the second step, we do it with juggling. We juggle and with a little higher hit, it must be straight, vertical and with controlled height. And then, we do the fake neck movement. If you have done these two steps properly, the beauty is in the combinations. You can do a lot of combinations with this fake neck movement. If you have done the previous movements very well, you can do today's combinations too. So I will tell you three combinations that you can do with fake neck movements and the movements that you have learned before. So listen carefully. The first combination is fake neck plus crossover. I have taught the crossover movement in the fourth session. I'm gonna do the fake neck and crossover movement combination and what a fabulous combination it's gonna be. Both of them together are in the same professional part of the amateur level. We have learned the crossover movement, so what is the important tip? The important tip is that when you hit the ball higher and you cross your head, if the ball is coming in the way that it has gone up, you can do the crossover movement without any fear because the ball lands in the part which you have hit it. And when the ball lands properly, you can do the fake neck movement and crossover without fear. That's why you have done the fake neck movement 10 times and the only point is trusting yourself and going for the crossover movements before the ball lands. The second combination is doing it with the X movement. We have learned the X movement together and before the crossover and it's a very easy movement. It is very easy, even easier than crossover movements. With which ball I can freestyle better and comfortable. I use this Persian ball. It has a friction layer and the ball doesn't slip on your shoes. And also, it has a great bounce. As you see, the ball bounce is standard and for a person who wants to work professionally, his shoes weight is important, his balls bouncing is important and the friction layer is also important. And also, I use this Persian ball shoes because it has a friction layer on itself and it's very lightweight. If you want to have yours, if you are living abroad, you can go to our shop site persianball.shop and if you are in Iran, you can click the links in the description. Ooh. 
The next combination is fabulous, so attractive. The combination with the clipper movement. After you do the fake neck movement, you can see the ball coming down. Your weak foot goes beside and you take a space for your stronger foot to do the clipper movement. You can combine this fake neck movement with a lot of great movements and make a lot of combinations. There's another movement that we can combine it with the fake neck movement. I will show you but the tutorial is for the next session. So don't miss the next session. This is it. This is called the magic spin movement. It has a detailed movement like this and you spin the ball in the air and it has a great combination with the fake neck movement. So. If you want to learn the magic spin movement, surely don't miss the next tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and it has been useful for you. Thanks for training with me every week and see you in the next video.